Another cycle of bills received Governor Kim Reynolds' signature today, including legislation that would make cancer care more accessible. Local 5's Larissa Leone breaks down this new legislation and how community members are responding to it. Larissa. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, Governor Kim Reynolds signed 40 bills into law today with two of them involving insurance coverage for cancer care. We spoke with Iowans who are impacted by these new laws on how this will help them receive the care they need without breaking the bank. In 2023, the state of Iowa was recognized by the Iowa Cancer Registry for having the second highest rate of new cancers in the nation. During the legislative session, some lawmakers focused on how to make cancer-driven care more affordable for Iowans. Some of that legislation is now law. The first, a bill aiming to make biomarker testing eligible to be covered by insurance. Biomarker testing is a medical analysis of individual tissue, blood, or other biospecimens to see patients' genetic family history of cancer and other diseases. It garnered support from both sides of the aisle. This is the future and it will just make a huge difference and we want to make sure that Iowans have access uh, to this opportunity. <laughs> Iowa cancer survivor Maria Steele says this is a win for her and other survivors as she benefited from biomarker testing herself. I'm also on targeted therapy, which I know what therapy to be on, or actually my oncologist knows uh, what therapy I need to be on because of the biomarker testing. So that's this is a huge day. Another new law will require most health insurance plans to cover supplemental and diagnostic breast exams in addition to mammograms. It's an honor for me to sign uh, into law House File 2489, diagnostic breast exams. Uh, it passed unanimously, so it's been a good bill, a good bill day for uh, bipartisan support. After being diagnosed with breast cancer in 2020, Kimberly Pearson beat it and became a nurse who helps women like her navigate the disease. She says today's bill signing means a lot for the future women who may be high risk for breast cancer. I have so many patients who are high risk and we know that and they need better imaging and they can't afford it because of the limited uh, allowances by insurance. And again, Reynolds signed a total of 40 bills into law today, one modifying individual and alternate income tax rates and another on programs administered by the Economic Development Authority in Economic Growth and Attraction. Stephanie. Larissa, thank you. The American Medical Association is recommending regular mammograms to screen for breast cancer. You should start, uh, should start younger. The group says screening should actually begin at 40 and continue every other year until 74. While breast cancer death rates have fallen, the disease is still the second most common cause of cancer death for U.S. women.